So the first lick um, that I'm going to show you is the pickup lick right before the solo. This is coming out of the chorus after you hear the G to the F add nine into the C. That's where it starts. So the pickup measure is going to set the pickup measure uh, solo is going to sound like this. And then we're going to be into the first measure of the solo. So the pickup measure uh, so, uh, solo is going to or lick is going to sound like this. 8th fret on the B string, 8th fret B string, 9th fret G string, back to the B string, 8, 8, 8, back to the G string on the 9th fret, back to the B string, and then we're into the first lick of the solo. So. And that would be the pickup lick to bring us into the solo. Lick number one of the solo, we're going to have uh, the 8th fret, and that would be lick number one. So it would sound like this, you'd play the 8th fret, a little vibrato, 8th fret, high E string, 11th fret, bending up a whole step, back to the high E string on the 8th fret, B string, up a whole step, and then lick number two. We're gonna go there. So one more time, we have the eighth fret, little vibrato, high E string, eighth fret again, whole step in, back to the eighth fret, whole step in. Now, um, when you're doing the vibrato on the eighth fret, you want to make sure you don't pull it down or it could fall off. So when you do vibrato on the high E string, you want to push the note up a little bit like that, and just wiggle your hand a little bit. Now, the whole step bend basically means that you're bending up two frets. So to test yourself, if you play from where you're bending, you go up two frets, that's your target note. So as I bend, that's the goal, to hit that note. This note, and you're gonna cut it right away, so. And then back to the eighth fret, then another whole step bend. Um, so lick number two is uh, basically like like a double stop using six. We're going to go from your second finger on the tenth fret of the G string, slide into the twelfth fret of the G string. Then with your third finger, you're going to hit the high E of the high E string, the twelfth uh, fret of the high E string. With with this finger, you're going to pluck it so it sounds like this, and then. That'd be lick number two. Lick number two. So second finger slide. Third finger, twelfth fret, high E string, pluck it. Still letting this one ring out. Back to the eighth fret, eleventh fret, eighth fret, and that would be lick number two. Lick number three. So lick number three, we're going to pull off from the 12th fret to the 8th fret. So it's a pretty big stretch. You're going to pull your pinky off, keeping your finger covering both the B string and the high E string. Then up to the 8th fret, after you pull off. Now a whole step bend at the 10th fret. Come down, play the 10th fret again, 8th fret. G string, 10th fret, D string, and then vibrato. So really slow, pull off, 8th fret of the high E string, 8th fret of the B string, whole step bend, 10th fret, no bending, 8th fret, 10th fret one more time. And that would be lick number three. Lick number four. I'm going to play it, then break it down. So, we do the same thing we did in, um, in lick number two. You're going to slide from 10 to 12, then third finger, 12th fret on the high E string, and you pluck that with your finger. Index finger, 12th fret, second finger, 13th fret, index finger, 12th fret. 
Then your second finger, 10th fret, slide to 11, really fast. 10th fret, 11, slide to 7. So that would sound like this. Slow. Now I'm going to play the whole solo really slow.